Question. Tell me what you think about me. Question. How do I do it every week? Every single week without fail, this happens. Can you do that? If you can, you can join my club. Yes, I need petrol. And yes, I don't have a bra on. <clears throat> this is a view you don't normally see, so I need to do my freaking roots. I'm using the Live Intense Colour, not sponsored, Red Passion by Schwarzkopf. I got this from B&M, I think it was five. So I'm mixing them together. You make me sweat, you make me harder. It's some Vaseline from a rim. I hate it when they've got to be cut. Ugh. I've got a fix up look sharp. Oh, and I've got all my food down here. I'm using my own gloves because normally the gloves don't fit me. There go. I mean, I probably should have brushed my hair. I should have got two, but I didn't. I was a cheapskate and only got one. Every time I do this, I think, why am I doing this? Anyway, let's speed this up. Put a half an hour timer on. This actually might be a better way to do it in the future to like tie it up and do it like that because I'm only doing the roots that was quite neat and quick neater and quicker than normal look like I've just done an operation why did I do that? <laughs> there's the screenshot oh it's all right it's not on the camera don't care about the bathroom just about the camera that's good enough. Shouldn't we do it with a sink sponge, should I? <laughs> no, Lauren, stop doing it with a sink sponge. How long's left on my timer? T minus 18 minutes and 42 seconds. Okay, I need to go out <laughs> to post two vinted parcels and I'm doing it like this. I've got 18 minutes and um, it's happening. You know, I've just realised I've got in this. I have met. There we go. Because I've not just nearly like scraped my hair on the top of my car. And the roof of my car is grey. So that doesn't help very much. Okay. And yes, I'm in my pyjamas. Um, yes, I need petrol. And yes, I don't have a bra on. I think that's one of the things my mum taught me when I was younger. You're never going to see any of these people ever again. And if you are, they don't care if you look like this. <laughs> that Rihanna song, Whips and Chains, I nearly broke my hand to that once. <laughs> I was in this pub, and you know when she goes, um, I know you found it, I know you good at it, sex in the air. It says something like, 
whips and chains excite me or something. And I went like that and I like brought my hand down as if to like do a whip and I smashed my hand on the bar. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> I was like, ah. Yeah, not my finest or sexiest moment. I'm trying to do the dance, trying to do a dance. My beautiful friend Seda, who I'm actually going out with tonight, is one of my friends who, against my wishes, no, I'm joking, she watches my videos. So the fact that she's gonna see me doing this before seeing her later is gonna be like, she's gonna be like, what are you like? <laughs> this, this is what I'm like, okay. This is always just like really dodgy around here. And it always stinks of wee. Okay. There. Oh, one out. Right. Uh, here. Oh. Okay. Done. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm trying to work out what to wear tonight. Oh, that's sharp. Is it becoming a restaurant? That's weird. I'm trying to work out what to wear. I think I might wear my black flowy wide leg trousers and maybe a mesh top that I haven't worn before. How long is left on the timer? You've got four minutes and 59 seconds to go. Why? Okay. So I think we have about 10 minutes. <laughs> and Seda is always one of those people who's right on time. Right on time. Right on time. I hate moisturizer on my lips. Always makes me feel really claustrophobic. So, hey Google. Put a five minute timer on. Five minutes. Oh. Let's go. At 29 and I find myself wondering, what did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. It's annoying me that I can't find my black bra. So I've got my white pa bar. Bra. We have a winner. Let me just try this. The other way around. Just in case it does feel better. Or I could wear my... My other mesh. Is this a bit summery? Yeah. Oh, now I can't remember which way I put it on. <laughs> oh. This is 
the winner. Okay, bag. <clears throat> Jacket. Done. We're not done because we haven't put scent on. She said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lorna, Yum. Where do I begin? <laughs> that pizza is to you. I have trusted to slice my own pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be trusted. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 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 It was so good. The, it was so good. Is it super thin? Yum. With the, with the chunky crust. Ooh. Not this one, looking at the dessert menu. <laughs> you can't, surely. I have, there's nothing left. There's nothing more to give. I've got nothing left. I've got nothing left. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's a good shot on my elbow you just got. <laughs> it's a good elbow. <laughs> I mean, normally I'd have a peppermint tea. so nice but I've eaten too much food <laughs> fantastic night which you know no matter how good the night is one of the best bits is always taking your makeup off in bed <laughs> but I just had such a wonderful surprise on the way home oh I need to text Seda and tell her I'm home BRB home safe thank you for a evening so oh 
<laughs> I'm so glad I was like manically doing my roots because I'm transformed, baby. Uh, yeah, I've got my little vitamin C drink before bed. Um, it was such a lovely evening with Seda. So, so nice. Um, we just had a two and a half hour gossip and it was excellent. And then, so yeah, I went to Piccadilly Circus and just as I was filming that last clip of the train shooting past, I turned around, I felt, I felt, you know, when you look around, you're like, I can feel something. And I turned around and my friend Abramo, as you know, Abramo from um, the Vlogmas episode of the uh, Ganache Taste Tests, he was just on the platform. And I just looked at him because he was coming towards the train. I just looked at him and went, and he was like, <laughs> it was so nice because he lives two stops on the same line as me but two stops into London so we got the train together and gossiped the whole way and arranged that we need to see each other soon next week so it was a fantastic night with a cherry on the top a little gorgeous little Italian cherry on the top <laughs> yeah hair is all it's not brushed I need to get a hairbrush because I don't have a hairbrush, surprise, surprise. Tomorrow morning, we have a very important, very exciting appointment to go to at 9 a.m. But I'm not gonna tell you now, I'm gonna make you wait. Which for me, that will be about nine hours. But for you, it will be now. Today's a very exciting day. We're finally getting my skin tag removed. I'm literally here, so I can't really talk. But, um, <sighs> 10 years coming, baby. Let's go get the knife out. <laughs> we are skin tag free. Can you believe it? <laughs> the lovely doctor. Oh wait, let me get to the car and I'll tell you properly. Oh. <laughs> She's skin tag free. She's skin tag free. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, here's the link to the video. So yeah, I basically had a skin tag that's been on my lower back, like basically top of my bum crack for, I mean, it started off as like a small mole thing, but over the last 10 years, maybe even more than that. No, it must be more than that. Because I quit there seven years 30 yeah it must be about 15 years i've had that thing and it's just always been such an embarrassment to me especially as of late when it's got a lot bigger okay you're gonna get some gossip now so i had oh do i even want to tell you this yes somebody somebody saw well i was about to get up out of bed and I was like oh my god I can't turn around because they're gonna see it oh my god and I was just like oh it just caused so much shame and embarrassment so I was like look this is my skin tag it's going on Friday meet the skin tag because it's the last time you'll ever see it and um yeah so I don't even have that anymore of course I asked to see it after they'd hacked. Having local anaesthetic put in is so weird when you can't see where it's going in. I mean, I've had a coil, so I've had I've had it put in my womb before, Abramo, shout out to you. And obviously I couldn't see my womb. And it's just, it always just feels so weird. And obviously because it was quite a large skin tag, you had to put in quite a lot. And I feel, I like to think that I'm quite, quite hard. <laughs> But I was like, uh, my, it was making my toe, toes curl. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So yeah, he was like, it's gonna be a sharp scratch. So I had like four sharp scratches. And the thing about it was, <laughs> obviously once it set in, I couldn't feel anything. I could feel a little bit of it, but I was like, just get it over with. I could, I could like feel him like, 
hacking at it. I was like, ooh. But anyway, it's gone. I obviously, they send it off to be checked at the lab anyway, just to check that everything was okay. Or, and that it wasn't anything naughty or anything bad. Of course I took a picture of it. Of course. Because I was like, I was like, if I don't ask to see it, I'm going to regret it. So I was, because it was the lovely doctor and a really nice nurse as well. It was the two of them. He got away without putting a stitch in it as well, so which is great news. Oh my God, it's so disgusting. <laughs> I'm skin tag free. Right, now let's find the name of that hot doctor and tell him it's gone. We can get married. <laughs> That's a callback to the other, to the other um, video. Also, I paid for an hour's parking and I was in and out without, within 20 minutes. So I've got 45, 45 minutes parking left. I wish you could like get a refund voucher. She's skin tag free. She's skin tag free. She's skin tag, she's skin tag, she's skin tag free. I've done my roots. Oh wait, please don't tell me I missed that whole section. Yeah, I basically did. How is none of that done? But yet the skin is all marked. It's a brilliant day to get a skin tag removed everywhere you go. You know that feeling of when it's just like a disgusting rainy day and nothing can get you down? Don't jinx it. Um, Lauren, um, Right, I'm just on live chat because we've got that message again. Remove it and re restart the server. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Lauren. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Um, are you in the car? Yeah. Okay, darling, see you soon. See you soon. Okay, bye. 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 So I just slipped and fell into another vintage parcel. This one is literally a plastic bin bag. <laughs> Um, now, I wanted this, something like this, yeah this is it, for freaking ages, that's fine. It's a denim dress, acid wash, collusion, size 24, is it going to fit? Yes. Cute with like a chunky cardi and what's the sleeves like? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, that was wet. Apologies. I'm just gonna wipe it on my trousers. Um, <laughs> oh, it's got a zip at the back, that's slightly annoying. But hopefully it will just go over my head. Yeah, I need a chunky black cardi now. <laughs> yeah, because the, the sleeves are only to there and that's not going to be winter enough. Yeah, thick black tights, like a chunky scarf. Can you see it? Doc Martens. I love that. Excelente. How much was that? Three quid. Mark has received. Yes, I have received it. Everything is okay. Yes, confirm. Leave feedback three pounds that feels new that's mad and because i've sold stuff i've got money in my balance to buy things well i will do wonderful dress thanks a lot smiley face i'm just in like this new confidence era and my wardrobe doesn't reflect that and I'm trying to get out of the hole. Right now, you could be winning next. This is hard. Did you know hard. that there are over... My wardrobe doesn't reflect that and I really don't want to just be in a fleece and joggers every single day anymore because it doesn't do anything for my mental health. Okay, let's actually go to Mum's. It's 
not even raining. There we go. Remember, it's like a big screen, so you don't have to go in. So, so this is something that's going around on TikTok, okay? Yes. You've got five fingers. Yes. And you're allowed to have a liquid coming out of each one. What are you choosing? For what purpose? Well, it depends. What 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 liquids do you want? You got five. Okay, I'll have water. Yeah. I will give you a do you want me to give you a cheat hack that a few people have yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Petrol. Oh, I'm thinking I've got to drink it. Okay. No, because then you can be like in your car. Oh. So you never have to pay for petrol again. Oh. Yeah. So we've got water, we've got petrol. Petrol. Yeah. Um uh, champagne. Champagne. So you can just go. Tss. Yes. Um, uh, uh, liquids. Liquids. Um, <laughs> Is this stressful? Wow, it's just a really weird thing to think about. Um, so liquids. Champagne. Do I need to put something like olive oil? You can put whatever you like. It's liquid. What are you going to use the most? Champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness, this is so weird. It's just um <laughs> Do I get judged on this? Wow. Well few, okay, petrol is a good one that you don't have to pay for. Um I said water and I said champagne. I'll have beer, like lager for dad. No you okay. And So you're gonna be go doing this into a glass and then just giving it to dad? I don't know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> and um, I think also uh, I'll have milk. I was going to say you've got to pick milk. Yeah, got to pick milk. What milk? Semi-skimmed. So it just does, <laughs> does the whole thing. <laughs> I didn't, did I say red wine? No. Oh. No. Oh. Are we still filming? Because I think this might be boring for your I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. Gonna, because it does seem I'm going like... to cut this out. Oh. Would you like to always sweat profusely mm. or always have to really whisper? Probably really whisper. It sounds quite relaxing. Yeah, but when you're on the phone, you're going, yes, the filler's available. And they're saying, what? We can't hear you. Oh, I thought everyone had to really no, whisper. No, it's just you being a weirdo. Just me. <laughs> <sighs> I don't really like these. <laughs> Would you rather only have eight fingers or only eight toes? Eight fingers. No. Because you need eight toes to balance. You need all your toes to balance. So which fingers are you getting rid of? I haven't decided. Your thumbs. <laughs> Go on, take it away. Tell them what you can do and then do it. Well, I thought it was normal, but Lauren wait. said it's not. No, wait, no, you've got you've to gotta explain it properly. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is just cross my fingers. So on each hand, I'm going to have two crosses. And I'm going to just do it like, like I'm going to go like that and I'm going to cross them. Like, so put them down here so they can see. So yeah, you can see the table, yeah? Yeah. So bring them from the table and then up. Okay, so I'm going to bring, oh, and, and cross them. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Do it again. Can you do that? If you can, you can join my club. Say I'm not in the club. You're I'm not in, in the. I'm not in the club. You're not in the club. It's so difficult. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no. 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 It's probably because it. as a child I had a lot of time on my own. <laughs> but then I could do this. That is weird. And when can that ever be helpful? When you're driving along and you need to sneeze. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to yawn. Keep one eye open on the road. <gasps> oh! See? And I can move one ear at once, but you can't see because you can only obviously only see one of my ears. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, look, nice. Look, only that one's moving. Yeah, that one's moving. Yeah. Look, that one's not. I can't really see it. Should we tell us, do they know about... Oh, yeah, they they, they love disgusting things. Go on. Uh, have, you not, have we not mentioned... I haven't them? told anyone, no. Have I done my hair? I can't remember. This year? No. No. Not. So, um... <laughs> um... I was in Greece, and in Greece you get these little insects that go up right up in the corner of the room, and they don't like air conditioning, and they bite really nastily, but don't make a lot of noise, so you hardly know they're there. And I've actually had what, been attacked by one of these in Cyprus as well. They get into the bed, under your nightie, and just bite away, and I've been covered, it looked like I had measles. This was a long time ago, but recently, in Greece, I woke up in the middle of the night because I had an insect in my ear. It was buzzing and panicking. And as it was panicking, I could literally feel it going, zzz, bite, zzz, bite, zzz. So I woke up Lauren's dad. I said, I've got an insect in, your, in my ear. I've got an insect in my ear. He said, are you sure? <laughs> so... Excellent. Um, I can be really calm in emergencies, and I was because oh, so, yeah, carry on. I thought of what to do because, and also I was going ah ah, and he's going just calm down, calm down. I thought you have a flipping insect in your ear biting you. And I could also hear it buzzing, oh. so it must have been buzzing just inside my ear, biting, buzz bite, buzz bite. So um, I said to him. He said, I can't see anything. I mean, it's in my ear. So I said, go and get the torch, get the torch. So luckily we always take a torch just in case we have to get a power cut. So I said, shine it into my ear and just hold it there, hold it there. And it crawled out. <laughs> this little black insect crawled out without its wings. <gasps> so after that, my ears weren't right. Neither was I. No quite traumatic yeah and uh my ear wasn't right and then the other one didn't feel 100 percent right just felt itchy tickly all of the oh, what on earth has happened to my ears so i recently went to my local doctor and this is quite a few months later yeah because you you didn't do anything about it for ages three months later yeah because that was bad i said can you please just check my ears <clears throat> because i had um because you were thinking it's gone into your brain or something Mm. As as people, you know, mm. I was I was kind of concerned, especially the fact that it had left its ears in there. So um, its wings. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it probably left its ears in uh, there as well. So my doctor was shocked, which was great, and he said, "You've got blood clots in your ear." Where you're meant to have the wax, you've got your blood clots with your with, in your ear. Would you like to see a photo of what I'm seeing? Because I've got to take a photo of what's in your ear and send it to ear, nose and throat. <laughs> so I said, yes, please. And I wish I hadn't. So it was the shape of my ear, which is normally um, orangey, waxy, mm. uh, with all red in it. <sighs> please, please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> but um, I'm still getting it checked. I'm still getting my ear checked. And so then you went to I went Kefalonia. To, I went, went to Kefalonia and when I went to, my ear still wasn't right and we had a swimming pool and I'm thinking my ear's not right and we had a really good clinic near us. So I went to the lovely clinic, thank you to Kefalonia Sammy Clinic. You are wonderful. And they saw me really quickly, checked my ears, and gave me some um, antibiotic eardrops. Because the the English doctor just gave you olive oil. And yeah. that didn't really do anything, did it? No. And then he said to me, how do your ears feel? And I said, they feel like they, they've got kind of liquid or something in them. And he said, it's probably all the olive oil that you've been putting in your ears. Because when just I like said... put it into the pan and cook some... Yeah, and what... When I uh, told him I'd been putting it olive oil, he kind of went, did that sort of movement. So, um, and he was shocked that the, that you had one in your ear as yeah, well. Yeah, he was shocked. I thought he would say, oh, yes, yes, we all get that in the it's night common. in Greece. No, it's not common. No. So, um, yeah, it's not a very nice thing to happen, especially in the night. Mm. But were you sure there was one in your ear? I think I was making it up. I just said to Jeff, Shh. 
I feel like you should shine a light straight in my ear. But isn't that... In the middle of the night. Isn't that good thinking to like shine a light in my ear so it follows the light out? I wouldn't... I don't think I would have thought that. No, because someone else said, shout out to Louis. Someone else said... My brother. Louis. um, Next time it happens, if it happens next time, um, get a flame and just make the smoke go in your ear. I mean, it's in the middle of the night. You're in bed... (laughs) And number one, we don't smoke. So where would we find um, uh, even a match? Yeah. Maybe we could find a match, but they're probably about 50 years old and damp. <laughs> so um, to, to actually get the smoke going in my ear, I thought the light was a, was a you better one. You had all on one hair side. You lit your <laughs> yeah. hair on fire. Yeah, so anyway. So yeah. So you're all feeling better now? I've got a proper appointment at the hospital um, in a few weeks. So I'll, I'll be glad to just get it looked at and... Um, mm. Yeah, checked and to be told that it's all okay. Mm. Thank you. So, I'm going on a date and I want want to pick her up some flowers. So we're gonna go see what we can get. Bunch just seemed like a ridiculous amount of money for what it was. Oh wait, there's a florist just here. Is it open? No, it's not. I don't. I don't want to get her some budget flowers. <laughs> I mean, I know it's always nice to get flowers, but I want to know that I've put effort in. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to try M&S now. Fancy. I'm so fancy. Oh, I also need petrol. That's probably the main thing that I need because I have 11 miles, which will not get me to my destination. Which pump side am I? I'm this pump side. Let's go here. This is chaotic. I know. I know. This place last week the flowers looked like they'd been punched in the face so let's hope this week they are better So those flowers were awful because I think the problem with those is they were the same ones as last week. They are right next to the entrance, which means that everybody who enters bashes them or like scrapes past them. Hmm. I could park here, but it's dodgy. So I'm in Waitrose and they've got these really cute like Halloweeny rose bouquets. with like black something in them. Oh, and some little string lights, they're cute. Even with her eyes shut, the world is spinning. Dimly, she hears Myrtle clearing up crockery and padding softly to Father's room for another session. Oh my session. God. Another waste of time, she adds mentally. With bolt and pain erases the thought. The fact of the matter is, she doesn't know who to believe. Myrtle says doctors are useless butchers. Agnes 
excess mesmerism won't help the sick. Good morning. I slept like a log. No. Yeah, like a log. Like a snug as a bug in a rug. All of the metaphors, all of the sleep. It was so good. Yeah, I didn't get home till like 1 a.m. And um I freaking love a dark country road drive home. Like if it was like spooky and like foggy, that would have made it perfect. But yeah, it was it was it was it was really cool. It was a lovely evening. Um, she loved the flowers. They were, looked beautiful. Um, glad, I'm, glad I made the effort to look for some that hadn't been punched. But you know, you can trust Waitrose. But the thing is, is that the price, the Waitrose lilies, sorry, the Waitrose, the Waitrose roses with like the Halloween spooky black foliage was the same price as that small bunch from Tesco. They were both eight quid. I don't see how that really works. Fair enough. Tesco had like a sunflower, an iris, a chrysanthemum, I think it is. But still, it's like, calm down Tesco. And they, I think with Tesco, the paper looks cheap. It looks like garage paint. Look, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm, I'm being a, a flower snob here. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. But they said something like, they had like purple and they were like, bouquet. It's like, no, either just clear plastic. Just don't try and color the plastic. Anyway, yeah, I'm now on my way to Charlie's. We're going to uh, I am going to get an um, M&S meal deal on the way because we're going to have lunch together but we can't be asked to do anything so M&S meal deal is fantastic they only do them at the garages so if you go into a big M&S and say hey I'm looking for a meal deal you won't be in luck it's only the garages because most of them are franchises I've learnt this the hard way so I've been editing this morning I should have really bought my laptop, but I'm just gonna go straight home and get on with it later. Uh, which way am I going? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, It's raining, but the sun's coming out, so we might get a rainbow. Meal deals secured. Meal deals in the bag, literally. In autumn, I spend like every day, like, do I prefer spring or autumn? Do I prefer spring or autumn? Because obviously it's all about the trees in both seasons. The colors changing to the autumn shades, it's just so incredible. I think I'd maybe say if I could I think I'd say something like spring in London because we get all of the magnolias, all of the blossom, or Japan obviously, all the sakuri. Um, oh, but then Japan, oh, Japan would be amazing on both. I think for me it's spring because with autumn you get the wonderful like cozy it's coming to the end of the year how is it already this time of the year how is it already nearly christmas but with spring there's more hope i don't know 50 50 let's <laughs> i might just have to accept a truce in my mind that it's the same they're both so magical when you get a crisp autumn day Mm. Oh, driving with food in the car is always like my nemesis because I'm like, I just want to eat my sandwich now. 
I have zero patience. Don't go chasing waterfalls Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to Question Tell me what you think about me Question How do I do it every week? Every single week without fail This happens To be fair <laughs> This is all recycling. This new bag of like, and these are new clothes that need to be put away. So I'm in the midst. Why am I just always sorting out? <laughs> oh. We have got editing to do. Let's take off my socks. Just take, take it off my socks by rubbing my feet on the floor. Okay. Then after we've done some editing, we actually deserve a break. I'm gonna try this dress on. So that's something to look forward to in a bit. Question? This is probably my favorite background. Oh. It's waves, but like from underneath. Oh my God, it's amazing. I've just sat down and I've still got my freaking bra on. Like, am I mad? <sighs> Can you hear the rain? It's now midnight and um, I fell asleep from like oh, 5 p.m. until like 10. <laughs> I had a five hour sleep. I was just really tired. So now I've been editing for an hour and a bit. Oh, it sounds gorgeous. Anyway, night night. Let's try it. It's cute. It's cute, it look nice dressed up. I think I thought it would, this feels a bit tight. Well, I'm glad it fits. <laughs> um, yeah, I like it. It's, I think it's longer than I thought it would be. It will look, it will be changed when it's dressed up. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Good. I'm just checking the vid, the video for today, and we are at 53% uploaded, and it's 11 a.m. So we're good. We're good. I'm laying here, uh, having a five-minute break, 
and I'm eating some Terry's dark chocolate orange. I um I think I'm going out, I'm not sure. So I've just got on like a my cropped little black t-shirt, my police trousers, and just some train. <laughs> just some train bits. <laughs> um I can't find my makeup bag, so I've just had to like shove together some makeup from my spare makeup bag but I didn't have any face oh my car's open I didn't have any face stuff so we're just having to make do I've got blush on my lips <laughs> yum <laughs> yum looks like art attack <laughs> Yum. No, you've got to take the nuts. Do you want nuts or take some of each? Okay. Hi, you, you have made it to the end of the video. I've got you on my laptop tonight, so I've got hands free, baby. Um, thank you for getting here. You made it. Um, I'm literally sitting here. It's the 4th of November, Saturday night and there's loads of fireworks going off, but I've got all my lights off, apart from my little lava lamp and some fairy lights. And I'm just watching, I'm waiting to see if I get some fireworks. I just saw some, but you'll have to wait till next week's video to see that. But it's annoying because my windows are still steamed up because I made dinner, so like I can see them, but they're like through, <laughs> through steamy windows. Yeah, if you get to this point in the video, please comment four hearts four not one not two not three but four thank you so much for watching for yeah just being here liking the video subscribing obviously and commenting all helps so much um if you would like to sorry if you'd like to support the channel i've got a coffee link below where you can buy me a coffee i got a comment this week that was like why don't you do sponsorships and i was like because i choose not to like that right now who knows what might happen in the future but for now and for the very 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 foreseeable i cannot see myself doing it i actually got two emails this week offering to work with me one of them was for love honey and the other one was for solar panels so i know that if the time comes <laughs> if the time comes I'll get some solar panels. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I just wanna say a massive thank you to some people that have bought me coffees this week. Um, thank you to Lisa, Louise, Jessie. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Maggie, Jacqueline, Carol, Linda, Lisa Ann, Sarah, Jill, Diane, La La Land, cool name, um, Annie, Sue, Karen, Nads, Joe, Deborah, Ruth, Diane, Nicole, Cindy, Geet, Pauline, Michelle, Sophie, Emma, Natalie. Emma, I've just realised you're the one who sent me the. You have to wait for next week. Emma, thank you so much. I'm actually really glad you've done this because now I can write to you. Natalie, Joanna, Claire, Woolaholic, <laughs> and Jess. Thank you so, so, so much. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, the link's below. Also, my um, Amazon wishlist is below. Again, love you all. Thank you so, so much. We'll be here next week and for all the weeks in the foreseeable. And then we're going to be doing Vlogmas. So, stick around. Love you lots. Mm, bye.